We're having a look at the Volvo V60 Cross Country. What does Cross Country mean? Well, you start with the already beautiful V60 station wagon that's just been introduced by Volvo, and you add more capability. It really centers around the ride height. They raise the vehicle by 66 millimeters. That's roughly two and a half inches. They add more cladding on the bottom of the car, a unique front and rear bumper. On the back, you see Cross Country, and this enables you to go into deeper snow, or maybe you go on gravel roads to your cabin or your shed. Chalet. The V60 is a mid-size wagon and with this cross country it adds just a little bit more attitude. I especially like it with the 20 inch wheels. These are optional. The base wheel is 18 inches and you can also get adaptive LED headlamps if you choose. So a great looking car, the right size for the city and heading into the countryside. So let's get in. I'll show you around and we'll take it for a drive. So some of you might be wondering, is this an SUV? Well, not really, it's kind of a hybrid. First of all, what is SUV? Sport Utility Vehicle. Well, this vehicle certainly is sporty because it's based on a car platform. It's got the car dynamics, the handling, and the engine that you get in other Volvo products, but then you get that added ground clearance. Powering this V60 cross country is the same engine that Volvo uses in the XC40 Utility. It's a turbo four-cylinder with 250 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque, and I really like this engine. It's very smooth and progressive, and then when you add in the ability to change the drive modes and make it either comfortable or more dynamic, it certainly is a lot of fun. And that's one of the knocks against the traditional utility vehicle is they don't have the same kind of road presence that you get in a car or station wagon like this. So what do you get with a station wagon? I've owned a station wagon, absolutely loved it. The space you use on the inside is usable space. A lot of utility vehicles have extra height inside the cabin, but you don't use that all the time. When you open up the hatch of this, the cargo area is long, it's wide, you need to take something bigger, you can fold the seats down, you've got plenty of room for cargo in the back. Then you get the back seat. When you get in, there's plenty of leg room, there's plenty of headroom sitting behind where my seat is set for the driving position, and it's comfortable. Now, one trend we're seeing in the car industry is to offer what are called vegan interiors, which means no leather. So this car is available with cloth and vinyl seats, or you can offer the full leather experience. Speaking of seats, it could be argued that Volvo seats are some of the most comfortable in the industry. The cabin is framed with beautiful accents and a large center tablet style screen that's easy to navigate. In behind the steering wheel is the instrument cluster and an optional 12.3 inch digital display. All right, back on the road here for final thoughts. The one thing I have to commend Volvo on is the engine is very smooth. The transmission is very smooth. You get that standard all wheel drive and the ride is very comfortable as well. This is a car that is gonna be very comfortable to drive every single day. And if you do a longer road trip to go skiing, everybody inside is gonna be comfortable. This Volvo V60 Cross Country starts at roughly $49,000. If you like the idea of having some utility, better ground clearance for snow and going on gravel roads, but like the dynamics that a car provides, this Volvo V60 Cross Country is the way to go. To find out more and to take it for a test drive, head to Volvo of Vancouver.